Hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here and this little critter, this is a face mite which I extracted, well, from my face and uh, today in this video I'm going to show you how you can also do that, how you can also hunt for these face mites on your forehead, yeah, on your nose and also on your cheek and I'm going to show you a few methods that I used and as a matter of fact I think it is one of the easier ways of collecting an interesting specimen sample. Well those face mites uh, they are actually um, yeah related to the spiders uh, and they have eight legs and one way that you can extract them is, is to use super glue now I do not recommend this method because it is a little bit painful and you have to be careful um, so I applied a little bit of super glue on a microscope slide and glued the slide on my eyebrow and then I ripped out some of those hair from my eyebrow and along with them hopefully also some of those demotex mites because yeah they like to live in the hair follicle a very painful procedure but as I say well self-sacrifice uh, for the sake of science <laughs> and yeah here that is my eyebrow on a microscope slide I immediately put it of course under my stereo microscope uh, to see uh, how it looks like of course uh, the white stuff that is uh, the glue the super glue and then um, like wires almost uh, my eyebrow hairs and of course also a lot of hair follicles and hair roots and this is the place where I looked for those uh, microscopic mites and I found one, unfortunately only one. Yeah, here it is, a little bit in time lapse. It's moving around and wiggling around. Um, and if you look carefully, you can also see the eight legs um, because as I mentioned, they are related to the spiders. Um, and uh, they have a very large and long abdomen and they're long and slender. And the bottom part, this is still part of the hair follicle. So they live there and they eat the oil that the hair follicle makes. Because it was so painful, I tried a different method. I now glue the slide on here next to my nose um, and I also tried to pull it off and hopefully along with that also some of those uh, demodex mites unfortunately not very successful so I have to show you again the same one from before um, yes but there are actually easier ways um, as well and I think uh, as a matter of fact the super glue might have also killed some of those maybe um, they're covered in glue and therefore kind of difficult to see under the microscope so what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Is there not an easier way? And as a matter of fact, there is. Just use regular sticky tape. Um, so what I've done is, is applied the sticky tape on my forehead, on my nose, on my cheek, and I left it there for about half an hour. And I tried to keep my face dark because they like to come out at night to mate. Yeah, they mate, then they go back again into the hair follicle and then they lay their eggs. And what I have done is I taped the sticky tape with the sticky surface to the top so that the mites do not become compressed between the tape and the slide. And this was actually quite a successful procedure. Um, and as a matter of fact, if you look around a little bit, you're going to see a lot of skin cells, dust fibers, hair even, and if you're lucky, and if you're very patient, you do have to look, you're gonna find uh, an occasional face mite that has found its way to the surface of the skin. Yeah, of course, I wanted to zoom in a little bit more to have a closer look and was able to see that it was actually moving still. Of course, uh, with the back glued against the slide, the little legs into the air, and uh, yeah, you could actually see them wiggle around and trying to, um, uh, trying to move, yeah, but of course, no possibility to move forward. Well, those demodex mites, uh, they basically are passed on uh, from mother to child because they're in very close contact. Babies don't have them and almost all older people have them, almost 100% of the population. And the chance that you too have them is actually very high. Now, those uh, face mites, they don't do any harm normally um, and uh, they're just uh, normal parasites uh, that are living on our body at, or beneath our body or in our body in our skin and they simply live along and they don't do any harm normally normally that is and sometimes if there are too many of them well then you have to go to the dermatologist to get them removed well I tried of course all the other parts of the face yeah and the same thing with a little bit of patience you are able to find them again well these face mites were discovered in the year 1840 by a German doctor his name was uh, Jacob Henley and uh, he discovered them and he wrote an article and it was published only in a local newspaper so at the beginning not a lot of people took notice of that and a year later it was officially named Demodex yeah and uh, I think up to this point they have discovered two different species of those Demodex mites 
I think uh, they're quite fascinating uh, because they also do not have any anus. So they eat the oil from the hair follicles that we produce, uh, but the waste products apparently are simply built up and accumulated in this long abdomen that they have. Uh, but ultimately what they will do is, is, is they will then mate and they basically produce eggs, they die off and the next generation continues uh, to live. Again here another one that I found yeah and uh, if you do not know what to put under the microscope yeah just take some tape put it over your forehead wait a few minutes take it off and go to hunt some of these demodex mites. Now I think uh, that uh, it shows uh, quite well that we human beings are actually almost like a full ecosystem. We do not only have bacteria that grow on our skin and in our digestive system but also a variety of multicellular little animals uh, just like uh, these here. I know some people do not like the thought uh, that uh, they are living on our body, but honestly, they are just a normal part of our, yeah, of healthy skin, as a matter of fact. And in many cases, it's mostly psychological, yeah, if you do not like them, um, but actually they won't do any harm. I think also it's uh, fascinating to see a little bit if you zoom in um, a little bit what's going on inside the little animal. Sometimes you can also see some of the movement uh, inside the body of the animal, some of the organs, very fascinating and how I really zoomed in a lot so the image is a little bit blurry but the movement of the legs and also the organs I think is really interesting to see. Well. I think uh, for today um, this is again enough. Um, I hope uh, that you enjoyed this video. Um, nothing to be afraid of uh, and now you have another interesting specimen uh, to put under your microscope. Do consider subscribing to the channel if you like it. A big thank you to of course all of my Patreon supporters. Do leave your comments behind and of course as always happy microbe hunting. See you around next time. Bye bye.